It's a sector that has been hit particularly hard by the COVID restrictions. Shut for a year and a half, the dance floors lying empty. We're, we're, we're stuck, we're snookered. It, it, it's getting hard now. We really, really need to get back to work. You know, we've responsibilities uh, uh, to our staff, we've responsibilities to our creditors. Those in the nightlife sector now want a definitive date as to when it can reopen. Well, our industry is in a, is in a severely depleted state at the moment moment and it is literally just rotting away and has been over the last 18 months. So now really we need to see some ambition from the governments to put a roadmap in place. The Give Us the Night group has also called for non-socially distanced trial events to take place next month regardless of the COVID numbers and say a return to all live events should happen no later than October. Today, the Arts Minister said she was working to provide certainty around a reopening plan at the earliest possible date. A bowl of chocolate sweets covered in gold and silver paper. Across town, there's life in the gaiety with a production of The Dead. The audience capped at 50. The theatre says it could accommodate many more. To see 50 people in this beautiful building, even though it's going to be a joy on Saturday when we see them coming in the door, to have just 50 people is, it's, you know, it's heartbreaking really. And electric picnic organisers have said they plan to review their options after the council refused to grant a licence for the festival this September. The show must go on, but not, it seems, this year. Connor Hunt, RTE News.